Welcome to Two Minute Fluid Mechanics, helping you learn some fluid mechanics in about two minutes. A stress tensor for Newtonian fluids. Don't let the stress tensor stress you out. Looks like our grumpy professor is late again. The past few classes have been really hard, dudes. I know, especially all that tensor stuff. Hey, Ned, it's your turn to ask him the question, man. Yeah, we need to spread out the pain. Oh, oh okay. Sorry, I'm late. Who has a question? Uh, I, I don't understand the stress tensor, sir. Yeah, it's simple, but I'll explain it again. Stress is defined as the force per unit area acting on a surface of a fluid particle. We show three such surfaces here. Mathematically, stress is expressed as a tensor. We use a bold sigma for this three-dimensional fluid particle. We decompose stress into normal stresses and shear stresses. As this fluid particle shrinks to zero, we have to define sigma at a point, as it's called the stress tensor. We typically split the stress tensor into two parts, pressure and viscous. In our Cartesian coordinate system, sigma has these nine components. We have the pressure part and the viscous part. Pressure always acts inward, hence these negative signs. Pressure is a normal stress. That's why pressure appears only in the diagonals. But the viscous stress tensor has both normal and tangential components. For a Newtonian fluid, the stress tensor depends linearly on the strain rate tensor, which we call epsilon. Again, it's bold because it's a tensor. This is how we write epsilon in our Cartesian coordinates system in terms of derivatives of velocity components uv and w for incompressible flow of a newtonian fluid with dynamic viscosity mu the viscous stress tensor reduces to tau equal to mu times epsilon when we plug in epsilon from the previous slide we get this expression for tau the viscous stress tensor notice that this is symmetric these two components are the same these two components are the same and these two components are the same finally the stress tensor for an incompressible newtonian fluid is written in cartesian coordinates as this sigma pressure stresses and the viscous stresses this is the stress tensor this form of the stress tensor yields the incompressible form of the famous Navier-Stokes equation. Yeah, that's about as clear as a duck in water. Yeah, it's as simple as duck soup. Now I'm even more stressed out, man. And I'm even tenser than before. <laughs> hey, hey, good one, man. Yeah, then you just have to study harder. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos.